Hello, the paranormal investigator extraordinaire is back again, continuing his investigation of a Rose Cottage. Now, it turns out uh, I failed to see a very useful piece of equipment in the bathroom. You'll notice we found a quite a number of locked doors that we haven't got keys to. Uh, apparently, if I looked a little more carefully at uh, everything at the sink here, I would have found there's one hairpin I can pick up. Just that. I didn't see it. Uh, like, so much of the stuff here is, you know, normally in Thief, all these little items, bottles, mirrors, bowl, hairbrush, etc. can be picked up. They're not necessarily of any use that they can be picked up. But uh, in... Uh, this mission, it seems almost everything has been glued down in a rather unfortunate fashion. I mean, how is a poltergeist even going to uh, throw this stuff around the room if it's all glued down? So I didn't even think that, uh, you know, I haven't even noticed most things that can be picked up because most things seem to be glued down. So take that for what it is. However, there is a hairpin. And I can use that to pick some locked doors. Which ones? I don't know, but I'm going to start by trying the one in the loft. Seeing as I just got into the loft and there's the door that leads outside. Hopefully I can pick this lock. I am indeed. Good. Uh, so I have the veranda. I can get on the roof there shortly. But where? Ah. Some, oh, I see. I'm being followed by a dressmaker's dummy. It's not really what they should be doing. Uh, I've got a greeting here. It's interesting, this leads into the crematorium, does it? Ah, uh, well, I know you want to come and join the fun. Well, uh, that's all right by me. Feel free. This is quite an adventure. Uh, but where I wanted to get to, oh, hello. They're all gathering around to join the fun. Oops. I wanted to get onto the veranda roof here to see what was in that. Uh, cupboard that I could not access from the inside. The one with the open window. Which I think is just around the corner here. This one? No. Hmm. Ah, this one. Uh, any thief could uh, break in here quite right quite right indeed <laughs> just a little storage cupboard that they've uh, locked the doors to I oh, see this gets access to the attic and it has uh, another painting here of a rather bored looking woman with a baby oh she has no skin she looks surprisingly uh, unbothered by that fact Oh well. What is this up here? Oh, we're gonna need a key for that padlock. Alright, so we have attic access once we find a key. Good to know. Good to know. <sighs> Don't suppose I can access any of the rest of the roof from here? Probably not. All right. You're still all there waiting for me, are you? Yep. Well, I guess we are going to explore this uh, passage into the crematorium now. Hmm. I 
see a ladder. This might be a one-way uh, trip until we find another way out. Very well. All right. I hear uh, what sounds like an actual bona fide ghost spirit fair. I will uh, try to avoid uh, annoying it unnecessarily. This gives us access to the garden and the ballroom and possibly the morgue. What is this shed? Let's check the map again. Does it tell me? Uh, no, we're just, but we're out here. We've got the ballroom. So... Oh, it's not locked. Oh, it does have it downstairs. What do we have down here? Wow, this door doesn't open. Alright. So much for that. Uh, oh, there's uh, doors to the crematorium have windows I can peek in and. Well, probably just open them, right? Yeah, there we have our. Uh, Spirit waiting there for us. Okay, I will uh, come back from later. The morgue is accessible. Oh, that must be the ghost of the poor fellow that was still laid out that they didn't have time to put away. But before I go back to the morgue, let's let's go to the ballroom. Let's check out the rest of the house that we have access to because uh, the house seems to be quite important in uh, all of this. Oh, we've got new objectives all of a sudden. It appears that five restless spirits roam the mortuary complex. Put them to rest. Uh, okay. Five bodies. You do know, look at this, look at these people. They do look, bear a strong resemblance to the uh, monster that uh, Caitlin drew in her pictures, although these don't have swords. I imagine there's uh, five bodies here. Uh, maybe she came in here and saw the bodies and that's why she got scared, she imagined them with a sword. Let's shed some light on this person. What have we got here? Cloak room. Just lots of coat hooks. Can I pick this lock? No. Alright. But that would take us out the back of the cottage. Okay. Uh, hmm. Although, to be honest, if there's restless spirits roaming, I might be better off with the lights off. I don't know. How do I get spirits to rest? Well, normally I, uh, you know, bury them again if they weren't buried, or uh, holy water, or you know, all sorts of, all sorts of things. But I, as I said, it's very rumorous to me to come here without my tools. Um, a drop of holy water. Don't have a shovel for burying them. I wonder if. Uh, Possibly leading the spirits back to their bodies might help. That is, that is potentially an option. A little unconventional, but I'm going to give it a try, I think. Before I do, let me try this door here. Where's the... where's my... there we are. Oh, what have I got? Oh, first aid kit. I misread that. Alright. Want we'll to see if leading this wrestler spirit back to his body does anything for me? It might not. He might be uh, too restless for that. Sir, your body is this way. Oh, he's got a sword.
no. That did not appear to help. Ow. That's not very nice. All I'm trying to do is help you here, and you're, uh... Uh... I guess it's just one of the risks of the job. I guess I'm gonna have to investigate a little more carefully to find out what he needs. Hmm. Meanwhile, he's gonna be busy, busy walking around the grounds here and obstructing me. It's not gonna be that easy, is it? I have to find out why they're haunting the place. I'm not going to be able to banish them if I don't have any reason, don't have any understanding as to why they're here. You're being very noisy, do you mind? I'm trying to talk here. Oh yeah, shut the noise out. In which case, it's probably better with the lights off if they're uh, all that violent. Uh, okay. So should I investigate? I'll wait. I'll wait before going now. Check out the morgue. See if I can find out why. Find out any information about why they might be restless. What have we got? Stan, just a reminder. Could you take a look at the closet window, please? I'm worried that someone might climb up on the veranda roof and be able to break in. Thomas. Well, yes, they can break in, and I went up there, and, uh, there was nothing in particular. No, there's access to the attic, but, uh, without a key, it's going to be hard to get in, because it was padlocked quite firmly shut. This morgue is enormous. How many bodies do they need to store here? I mean, they're not storing any here, they left them all in the, uh, in the ballroom. Okay. Yeah, we might need some uh, equipment to repair that switch, perhaps. Bins, no clues here. This mod goes on forever. Also, the decor here is just terrible. It's green tiles. What were they thinking? Was it? Did they build this in the sixties? Right, perhaps this door will uh, lead me to some more useful. More flashing lights. Uh, cold storage. And one of the uh, drawers has been pulled out. I wonder if I need the. Oh. It does seem that most of them are accessible. Do they have uh, numbers on them? I wonder if any of them have uh, anything relevant to my investigation. So far, it would seem not. God, they've, they're all full. Have you not been burying anyone? Did you lose the keys of the cemetery or something? Have to keep everyone in, in the fridge. Mm. All right, well. For now, I think searching through them exhaustively like that is not really going to be of much help to me. What's this here? Uh, oh, that's a bottle I can pick up and throw. Interesting. It's not glued down like almost everything else. 
Can I climb on the shelf? No. But perhaps I can uh, make use of these as impromptu steps. I'm sorry, I don't really mean to uh, dishonor the dead here, but I can then. Oh, hello. I think I know where I'm going. Not going to go out this way. But uh, I can uh, climb up this way. We are. Who needs a staircase when you have a pile of dead bodies in the fridge? <laughs> Alright, maybe this will get us into the room that we saw over there that was locked. Yeah, open. Open. Thank you. Ventilation ducts. Reminds me of something. All right, here we are. They, uh, I guess if they're doing any autopsies, they didn't here. General purpose mortuary uh, morgue, I guess, rather than. Eh, or if they're preparing the cadavers, I don't know. It's not supposed to be kicked, they're not really cadavers. When they're uh, waiting to be buried, are they? I don't know what they call them. My business is with the ones that are not actually dead, not the ones that are being prepared for burial in the ordinary fashion, only the ones that uh, refuse to lie down and sleep for the ones I'm interested in. So they've got a recording machine there. Which I will check out very shortly. See these bottles have glued down. Another first aid kit. Andy. If I perhaps run into another uh, one of those sword wielding uh, restless spirits. Really, swords in this day and age. Very anachronistic. Never mind. See, let's see what we have here. Yeah, well, try forwards. Continuing the post mortem of the first of five, believe it or not, John Doe's brought in here late last night, all dressed exactly the same. It says here that they were a local gang of thieves. Hmm. Body shows no indication of trauma, no discernible external wounds of any kind, not so much as a bruise. In fact, so far, I'm at a loss as to explain the cause of death. Okay, so to continue, I'm about to remove the stomach and check contents. Removing stomach now, and there's a slight discoloration. Okay, okay, stomach removed now. Let's take a look inside. And, oh, what do we have here? Some kind of leaves or, no, petals? How strange. I recognize this plant. It looks like, I'm pretty sure this man was poisoned. I, hello? Is someone there? Third. So there's uh, five thieves, apparently all on all John Doe's, all unknown who they are, were poisoned. Petals in the stomach. And uh, either she bumped the switch and turned off the recording machine. Well, that must be what happened because clearly she finished her. Uh, Post mortem examination of all of them because they're now no longer in here, but uh, all in the other room. All right. Well, that doesn't really tell me much of of use for my investigation. Oh. Uh. No! Don't kill me. Uh. That's not very nice of you. 
use this first aid kit to patch myself up here. Seriously? Alright, well, let's make a run for it. Oh, I shouldn't have closed the doors, should I? Well, in a circle. Uh, now where? Oh. Nope, you're coming after me. Oh, what? Holy water? How did a fountain of holy water appear there? Can you please walk in here for me? Uh, apparently it does not deter him at all. This is uh, bad for me. Normally they should be uh, quite deterred by holy water, I would think. Right, let's uh, try and get some distance on him, if I can, and uh, make my way back into that vent again, I guess, is my best bet. Alright, the other one's me too. Very, quite inconvenient. I'm a little puzzled by the sudden appearance of uh, a font of holy water there that spilled across the door. I'm not half as puzzled as I am by the fact that it didn't deter the spirit at all. Although perhaps that means only that this is not an evil spirit. Because... Only evil things should be deterred by holy water, right? Maybe it's not evil, just... Got to have a bad morning. That would explain... It's, uh, seeming anger. Well... Has it calmed down enough to leave me alone? I don't know. I hope so. Can I hear it in here? No. Well, how strange. So we have this uh, holy water here. Apparently, huh? But it does nothing. That is. Unexpected. Let's close the doors so we don't. Uh, I can't. I was gonna say so we don't make too much noise that they might over here, but uh, I guess I can't. Can I open any of these other doors? Did I check them out? Oh, I'm sure the chapel key wasn't here before. Where is the chapel? Well, it's not marked. Oh, this is the chapel. Okay, so now we can get out of the chapel. Why did I think this was a ballroom? Because it says ballroom. It doesn't say chapel. I said, I guess it was the ballroom before they turned the place into a mortuary. Uh, Alright, here we are back in the Ouija board room. There's one more door. Uh, that should take us outside to the uh, back garden, I believe. From the cloak room. Excellent. Uh, to the gazebo, where it appears to be 
raining in the gazebo. That's a very unusual kind of fixture there. Maybe they use this for uh, washing things. I don't know. Interesting. Well, this is the back of the mansion. It's just a yard, fairly featureless. A couple of treeless leaves, or rather leafless trees. Drain pipes. Can I climb the drain pipe? No. Well, that's not going to get me to the roof then. What do we have here? A uh, newspapers. Lampfire Hills Chronicle. Five found dead. Lampfire Five gang found dead days after arrest warrant issued. The notorious and elusive gang of thieves known as the Lampfire Five were found dead last night after finally being tracked down by the local city watch. After a tip-off, a raid of their hideout took place but all five members of the gang were found dead, with no sign of a struggle. The case is being treated as either poisoning or a mass suicide. The bodies were taken to Holland Lane Mortuary for post-mortem examination. Well... Well, if they're dead... It doesn't help me get in here, does it? Can I pick this one? No. Hmm... All five of them died. It's a very odd circumstance. Usually thieves and the like are not the uh, ones to become violent ghosts. They're usually greedy ghosts, but uh, something's different this time. Not that the news report suggests anything to me, unfortunately. Still have uh, my objective to put these spirits to rest, but I do not have at the moment any way of doing that that I'm aware of. Perhaps if I find out why they were poisoned, it will be easier to do so. Don't suppose uh, the Ouija board has any new insights to offer me. No. It's gone quiet. So, where would I go now? How would I find out if there's any information on poisoning? Hmm. I wonder if I can unlock the kitchen door with my hairpin. Perhaps. There was a kitchen here. Nope. And I couldn't use it on that padlock. Well, this is unfortunate. Wait, I just had a thought. Uh, the tape recorder there in the morgue. I wonder if it uses batteries. Uh, where are we? I'm getting all turned about. I don't know which way I'm going. This takes me outside, does it not? Yes. That's just that indeed, but. Um, I just there's another way in here. I also I guess I've also not examined the room where that other restless spirit is. Really, the fact that this uh, holy water does nothing is uh, perhaps the most bothersome thing of this entire incident. Well, 
haven't explored this room with this fine fellow. Maybe there's a clue in here. My concern is I will end up alerting him somehow and he will be chasing me again. Not be my ideal scenario. And there's too much light there by the furnace. I will need to put him to rest, I think. Before I can get to the furnace. But how to do that? How to do that? Getting him to stand in the holy water is, is uh, apparently a no-go. Hmm. And I can't do anything here, can I? This door is still shut. Some water behind there. I wonder what uh, is down there. Tape recorder in the mortuary. Uh, in, in the morgue. Although... I wonder if our fine friend is also still here. It would be uh, unfortunate if he, if he is, because... We have a very noisy floor, so I'll have to take this very quietly. And slowly. The violent ghosts are the most inconvenient to investigate. Yeah, he's definitely still here, isn't he? Yes. Well, I'm not going to be able to get back there until I have a way of uh, putting him to rest for the moment. Which I don't have. Which... is most inconvenient. Uh, Alright. What I'm going to do is uh, find out what I'm missing.